Hi, fishy folks. Welcome to Update Thursday. It's just an update. Not going to be a regular thing, but I got back from Japan yesterday, Wednesday, and uh, I was exhausted, so I decided not to film. I actually came down here, did a quick check, fed a little bit, and then went upstairs. I don't want to want to risk messing anything up. So today I messed it up. You can see water on the floor, buckets everywhere garbage everywhere uh thanks to my uh my son andrew for feeding the fish almost every other day like he was supposed to but i only found one dead guppy in a tank and uh that's fine with me because that happens sometimes so how about a quick update nine days away uh, i did do some water changes over here so chunky's tank is pretty uh cloudy right now you can see the two platies living life in a tank with four goldfish and everything's fine there's also a King Tiger, L333 King Tiger Pleck going here. I did see him this morning. He's probably underneath that wood right there. But uh, let's move on, shall we? Just say hi to Chunky. What's up, Chunky? She's a good girl. All right, let's move down to Han, Leia, and Jabba's tank. Uh, I did, I sucked out more than five gallons worth of poop water, and there's still poop. It must have uh, been swirling around and kind of settled there, but just about time I, I get rid of Jabba I think he's getting too big for this tank and he really makes it dirty there's Han who looks spectacular and of course Leia in the back in white I'm assuming that's a female if you know how to sex Oscars without venting them let me know if you have to vent them I'll probably never know hey how you doing ha 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 all right it's enough of me making funny noises uh, I did see Fry in the glass belly guppy tank. I'm pretty excited about that. And of course, there's a couple of green dragon pleco babies in here eating some uh, some of the uh, ocean nutrition frozen cubes I fed this morning. Now, <coughs> this tank with the trio of purple mosaic dumbler sulfur head guppies, still no babies. If there were babies, they were eaten, which I find hard to believe because... There's so much cover in here. There's so much places for them to hide. So kind of fun and hard to believe they were eaten. I wonder if these girls were just really old or sterile. I don't know if I got a bad batch, but we're going to keep it going and see what happens. Uh, I did clean out the L144 Pleco tank. And um, by that, I mean gravel vac. Of course, I didn't get everything because there's just so much poop. And I have a little bit of a snail issue going on. There's got to be, I don't know, three, four gajillion in there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, because obviously this is a breeding tank. And uh, hopefully they'll be ready soon for babies. I'm pretty sure I have at least one male, which is this guy. There may be another male in here. Um, as long as there's one, right? But my question is, will these snails eat the pleco eggs? Or will dad be able to protect them? So... Let me know your thoughts if you're a Pleco breeder. I appreciate it. Uh, here's the uh, Black Panda grow out tank. You see there's a bunch of juveniles and babies and the one female who I probably gotta put back in the other tank because I think she's had three drops in here. And even though she can probably drop again, it probably will be a longer time and, and a smaller drop than you know if she uh, was getting hit up by a man all the time. So, Bruce. What's up, Bruce? Just chilling uh red dragon guppy tank oh huh interesting uh i did put a heat in here before i left because it looked like i was getting all female babies i should have gravel vac this tank too um but there's quite a few fry and babies and juveniles in here so you can see a lot of them just chilling over there I, like i said i did feed frozen this morning <clears throat> so i got to come back with some fry food uh here's the Black Panda breeding tank. See quite a few black pandas, all different sizes, for sale on the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Speaking of the website, thank you for 80,000 subscribers. And uh, because of that, for this weekend only, up until Monday, or I should say Sunday at midnight, we're going to have $8 shipping for 8,000 subscribers. So take a look at the website. Uh, if you see something in the video that's not on the website, email me. Like, these guys aren't on the website. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. I, I want to kind of get rid of them. Um, but if you want some of these, shoot me an email. 
you know, send me a price for what you want. We'll see what we can do. Same thing here. These are the uh, Red Tux High Fin Sword Tails. You can see them in the back just chilling. These are guys, these are the guys that I'm going to put outside in a tub, which you'll see a tub update video in, uh, probably on Friday. Um, so yeah, send me an email. Check out the website, $8 shipping, michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, Jade Head Red Tux AOC. I don't know. I forget what we call these. Lots of babies, lots of different sizes growing out. We got the uh, the red wag platties, and uh, here are the German AOC half black German AOCs. Um, I owe a friend, a customer out in California, a female. Apparently, I sent him a male and a male or sleeper male, but uh, looks like I have at least one female in there. So I gotta wait for some babies to grow out before I send those, Mister Posey. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, this is the Red Russian Lace Guppy Tank. And to be quite honest, these guys are really pissing me off because every now and again, I'll see a gorgeous male and a bunch of fry or uh, females. And then boom, they're gone. I don't see them. So let's move down here to the albino bristle nose. Uh, there are three in there still. This tank is actually pretty clean. I'm pretty excited that they're still alive. Uh, one quick thing. See these labels? This is the labels I used to put on the tanks that needed special instructions. Otherwise, just got a pinch of flake food crushed up and boom, that was it. So like a half kelp wafer every other day, one kelp wafer every other day. Down here in Hanalea's tank, we have pellets and kelp wafers. Now pellets are the um, Northrin community blend is what I was having him feed. So uh, nothing really going on in here. Same thing here. I'm surprised there's no babies. This is a potential red cobra grow out tank or breeding tank. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised there's no babies after two weeks, but got to see what's going on there. Here's another tank I'm looking to get rid of the uh, black mollies. Some of them are layer tail. You can see there's some babies in there. A lot of algae in this tank stuck on the glass. Haven't cleaned it in a while because, you know, whatever. Uh... I forgot what we call these. I should put a label on these because I forgot what we call them. These are metallic micro hybrid metallic hybrid sunset metallic micro guppies. I think that's what it is. I did put a heater in here because you could see everything in here is a female it looks like. So hopefully the heat will bring it up and uh, we'll get some more males. Otherwise, Hannah and Leigh are going to have nice looking snacks. Uh, Cobra guppy tank. Just grow outs. Jarwee Lazuli tank. Here's my problem, guys. I had that sale with the shipping, with the $5 shipping. Oh, look, and, and that's off. I had a sale with $5 shipping, and I sold so many of them, I didn't have enough production. So I actually sold out of them. And so they're on back order on the website. So if you order them, they'll be back ordered. I'm trying to source some more, and there are, there is at least one female and male in here, and one juvenile. So I'm, I was hoping I would see a ton of fry when I got home from Japan, but... I'll do some work on this tank, get them to drop some fry, hopefully, and, and maybe in about two months, look, there's a male. Maybe in about two months, we'll have some more, so. Um, what I've been subbing for these when people bought them uh, were these Japanese blues. They're blue, they're very colorful. A lot of them have this lower sore tail. They're small like the Jarwi Lazulis. They look very similar, so. Uh, if you bought a pair of those, I would send you a trio of these. So, uh, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Send me an email and we'll work it out. Uh, or you can buy a pair of these. The price will be less. I think those are $30 for a pair. These would be $20 for a pair. Um, but you can see how colorful they are. And yeah, I'd be interested. If you're interested, let me know. Uh, the blue diamonds here, really nothing special. Just blue diamonds. They look great. It's a great inexpensive guppy. I think a pair is $10 on the website. Uh, to get started in fancy guppy breeding. So here we have the lime green cobras. Uh, again, there's I put a heater in here because everything looks like it's female. Uh, we do have a jacked up female. Her back is bent. That's probably due to how big her spine is. I mean, how big her tail is and uh, lots of breeding. So she'll be cold soon enough. Han will probably take a munch out of her and that'll be it. Um... Yeah, these are, don't tell me, I know, don't say it, 
grass guppies, blue and red grass guppies. And you can see a pleco on the cave back there. Calico pleco, there's three of them in here. I did see all three last night on the glass when I came down. There's one on the glass over there. In here we have uh, more plecos, just uh, a breeding group of bristlenose. And these are the magenta guppies, also on the website. Very colorful fish, very prolific breeder and hardy, of course. Here we have the um, black Moscow's. Again, very hardy. Look, you can see the frozen food on the bottom, bloodworms and some uh, beef heart. Lots of fry. These will be going up on the website. My guess would be in about a month when I have some more um, fry that I can sex easily enough. There are just males that were bred in this tank. All the other males are up in the male guppy tank. So uh, I guess we'll go up here. Half black guppies, nothing special. These are the Tanaka maple leaves. Uh, pretty prolific breeders as well. Pretty hardy. They're for sale on the website, of course. Here's one that's not on the website. These are uh, purple Moscow's. Um, they're, they look very similar to the black pandas, but in, in light, they're purple. So, uh, And they have a delta tail, which is nice. Of course, see there's one. There's a small male right there with a delta tail. But uh, Red tux guppies. Um, they had a bunch of babies in here. And uh, I do have to do some sorting because you can see I have a lot of nice dark ones and then some that aren't so dark. So those, that's got to go in the mutt tank. But you can see how many babies in here. Very prolific, very healthy guppies. Also a good intro to guppy breeding if you're looking for it. These are the steel nebulas. Uh, I did see some fry in here this morning, so I'm pretty happy about that. And you can see a male starting to color up up there, which is nice. These are the American Purple Deltas from uh, Daniel Anderson over at Hypnotic Aquatics. There's fry in there. But these guys, what's, what's really nice about these guys is they get yellow in the tail. Uh, so they're purple and yellow. Really pretty, the males. Um, you can see that male has a little bit of yellow in the dorsal. Pretty cool looking. Here's the male tank. This is a great tank. All male guppies, just the extra males I have for my breeding groups. You can see the black russian delta right there so all right fishy folks we got a couple of tanks left uh this is another group i'm trying to get rid of if you're looking for a uh, long fin high long fin long fin high fin sore tails yeah um i got these that's what a male looks like you can see how long the gonopodium is and the scissor tail or the the layer tail so we've got a bunch of females and some males in there. If you're interested in the whole breeding group, if you're local, that's even better. I'll put them in one bag. Um, cheap, 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 cheap. So send me an email, let me know. There's nothing in this tank. I think there's actually one. There is one guppy I missed, but it's just an empty tank. I got to clean out and uh, reset for, you know, new fish that I buy. <clears throat> mutt tank. There's some really nice looking fish in the mutt tank. But again, there's another way if you want five months for 20 bucks uh, if you tell me a uh, male female ratio usually I go three females two males but uh, yeah I'll, I'll you know hook you up nice it's another inexpensive way if you're not looking to breed for profit just looking for colorful fish check these out on the website eight dollar shipping until Monday um, I mean look how gorgeous that that Delta tail is look that thing is so big look at it um, and, and so let me explain mutts. Mutts are sometimes culls of fish that aren't breeding true. Or they're, you know, if I had an escapee guppy go into another tank. Uh, and so I, it, it's not going to breed true for you. I put it in here. So that's what the mutt tank's all about. Down here we have the American guppies. There were fry in here when I left. I checked yesterday real quick. I didn't see any. Oh, there's some fry in there. Some java moss that probably needs to be taken out. We've got the yellow cobras over here. So they're breeding pretty nice, pretty true, and uh, there are lots of babies in there. Then, of course, the high fin sunset platys. Also, if you're interested, let me know. They'll go cheap. Oh, I missed three tanks down here, guys. Update video ending coming up. So these are just Cobra Guppies, both of these tanks. At one point, uh, they were... All males are all females, I think, and then there are some babies and some grout. So, um, yeah, these look like to be. Oh, there's a male. These look like to be mostly females. I don't see any fry. 
probably because there isn't much hiding spot much coverage so i got some work to do on this tank this tank has plenty of coverage and this java moss i got this java moss from i'm not gonna say who because i haven't told them how bad it is but i bought a pound from him wholesale and uh he hooked me up with a great price it just it, it's not doing well in my water i'm not really sure why so i'm gonna reach out to him and see uh see if he has any suggestions but there's a nice male right there um i don't see any fry but they're probably oh there's some fry so we got some fry in there and then here we have the some more guppies and i can't remember what we call these pink i don't remember i gotta i gotta label them that would be so smart lots of coverage in here got some guppy grass you can see a, a fry right there surprising they're surviving with these big ginormous uh females and males hunting them so uh actually there's a ton of fry up here so my plan you know i have all this empty space i have these tanks i should be able to fit two more uh 20s and a 10 and the plan is to fit a 10 and a 20 over there as well um once i get that done i will start separating some of these guppies to male female tank you might have heard the rumor uh if you put all males in one tank and all females in one tank they grow bigger and that seems to be true so I'm going to be uh, doing that for some of my my more popular sizes or my more popular fish. So that's it for the Back from Japan update. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. $8 shipping until Monday. Use promo code 8KSUBS. Good morning, fishy. Why did I say good morning? How come I always do that? Because I film in the morning, that's why. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Thursday update day. Um, today, I got back from Japan yesterday, not today, that would be yesterday, the day before today. 